Hi, today we're going to be doing a fusion. We are going to be fusing an American classic dish with a Spanish classic dish. I'm going to try to make an Americanized empanada. The American classic, the sloppy joe. And the empanada, obviously, wrap it all up in pastry. I'm Ralph, welcome to my kitchen. Let's get started. First, I've got uh, some, some pie dough that's rolled out here, store-bought, but I need to get something about five inches in diameter. We'll see how many we can get out of this pie dough, but I'm not relying on just this pie dough. I also got some Goya empanada doughs. Two different types. One just regular and another one that is made out of puff pastry. Because I was not counting on just the regular pie dough being enough. So let's see how these turn out. Nice. Got to stack them over here. I think if I rolled this out, I would probably be able to get some more, but we'll save that for later because I've got some extras over here that we won't need to make more out of the pie dough. With that, let's go over to the cooktop where I'm working on the ground beef. Now, I've already been browning it up because I didn't think you'd want to wait for the whole process of me browning it up. To that, I'm going to be adding some standard sloppy joe mix. But we're not going to leave it at just that. To that, I'm going to be adding a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And as if that's not enough, I'm just going to kind of flavor it to taste with some chocolate syrup. Why? Just because I can. And trust me, this is going to come out delicious. Gonna get it all blended together here. Now you say, Ralph, this, this seems crazy. But you know, I've been doing this for my kids since they were teeny tiny. They love it. Trust me, you, your kids, your family will love it too. It just adds a little bit distinctive flavor to it and it makes it more yours, not just something out of a can. Now, before we go any farther, I put a pound of ground beef in here, but I don't really need a pound for what I'm doing. I'm going to be making up a half a pound's worth of empanadas. The other half pound here, I'm going to be putting into a bowl, packaging up, stick it in the refrigerator, and save it for just regular sloppy joes. Now, I don't have to worry about getting this too heated up because unlike making regular sloppy joes, I'm not having to put it on a bun already hot because it's going to be going and getting cooked again. And that's where we're going to be changing things up a little bit additional here, I'm going to be putting them into a hot air fryer instead of the oven or a deep fryer. So we're going to see how that works out. I don't know about you, but when I have Sloppy Joe's, I normally like to have some kind of potato dish with it. Could be French fries, could be tater tots, maybe even sweet potato fries, or maybe you just take your Sloppy Joe mix and you put it over a baked potato. All of that sounds great. But since we're making up empanadas, that some of them are gonna be going into the freezer for later, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be putting the, uh, the potatoes right into the, the meat, getting it mixed in there. That way, when you heat up the empanada, it's already there, it's a complete meal. Get those all smashed in there. Okay, I think that's good enough. Gonna turn the heat off because again, we don't have to cook this and serve it hot. We want it to cool down a little bit so that we can go put it into our empanada dough. So I'm gonna give this a chance to just cool down a little bit and I will meet you at the other counter. Okay, we're ready to put some filling in. I've already tried with one because I wanted to get the portion size correct before I screwed up on camera. 
So let me put a little bit in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese in there to help hold the whole thing together. Fold that all over, press the dough down, and then we're gonna lock it in with a fork, pressing it along the edges. Let me show you as I do this. Then we're just gonna put it onto some parchment paper on a pan. Now after I get a whole bunch of these made up, I'm going to be putting them into the freezer for an hour. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these Goya ones. Here's a regular Goya one. And then the other type is a puff pastry. So we wanna make sure that we get a little bit of everything going on here so we can tell what is going to work out best. Okay, there's the last one. One last thing before we stick it into the freezer. We're going to kind of baste them with some egg that I've mixed up here earlier so that we can get them nice and golden when they go into the, the air fryer. Now, after I put them into the freezer, they're gonna be going into the freezer for an hour. That's just gonna firm them up so that they're gonna be easier to work with. Now, we're not actually gonna to have to put all of them into the fryer because some of them are just gonna be put into a freezer bag and can be used later. That's the beauty of these things. You can make them up well ahead of time. Okay, they've got eggs all over them. They should be perfect when they come out of the freezer. So I'm gonna go put them in the freezer and I will see you in about an hour. We're back. I just pulled all the empanadas out of the freezer and we are about to put them into the hot air fryer. Now, I got this little thing just the other day. I have not even used it yet. I hope it works well. So this is gonna be a trial run for it and we'll see how it works. Now, while I was waiting on the other empanadas, I went ahead and made some sweet ones as well. I grabbed this can of fried apples and I filled this batch of empanadas up with the fried apples. So we've got some sloppy joe empanadas and we have some fried apple empanadas for dessert. So let's see how those turn out. Let me spray this with a light coating of olive oil. Actually, I correct that, it's actually avocado oil. But I am going to take one of these and I'm going to slip it in here. The next layer is going to be the regular empanada. The next one is going to be a puff pastry empanada. And finally, a dessert empanada. And I'm going to be putting these in at 350 degrees. It, uh, I'm going to start out at 10 minutes and check it from there. It may take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, but before I get any farther, let me show you, come here, what it looks like in there. Interesting, huh? Okay, so I will put those in. Got it started, be back in 10. Okay, here's an update. I'm at the five minute point. Check this out. The ones on top getting a little bit too brown. One down below, they're still looking pretty good. So maybe this two shelf deal is not that great of a deal. So I'm going to pull the ones that are on the top and finish those after the ones on the bottom are all done. See you in a couple of minutes. Now, when I did them for the second half, I went ahead and flipped them over. And I'm gonna do the same thing for these two when I put them back in. I've got those back in. I adjusted the heat a little bit down to 340 instead of 350. 
and they're finishing up their last five minutes. So we'll see how they come out. But these actually don't look too bad. Take a close up of that one. This one is kind of breaking open. I'm pretty sure that this is the pie dough as opposed to the empanada pre-made dough. Pretty darn tasty, I'll tell you what. I'm liking it. It's still really hot. It's all the goodness of a sloppy joe in a format that's going to be easy and quick to make in the future because I took the ones that we did not just cook up, I slipped them into a freezer bag, they're going back into the freezer, I can pull them out anytime I want. All it's going to do is add about another minute or two to the time on the hot air fryer and they're going to be just fresh as they are now. So what's this other one like? Okay. This, I think, is going to be the, the regular empanada dough here. Also very good. Can't go wrong with either one of those. Excellent. We'll see how the others come out. I'm really kind of anxious to see how that, that apple one's going to come out. Okay, they're done. Let's see how they turned out. Yeah, these are looking really good. So, this is a lesson. You might not want to invest in one of these multiple shelf deals. That's my quick review. And yes, I did pay for that. It was not sent to me. Now, on these, you'll notice that's how it was from the first five minutes. Second five minutes, at 340 instead of 350, for another five minutes, comes out perfect. Let's see what we've got here. Lots of steam coming out. Not real anxious to put that in my mouth just at the moment. So in the meantime, if you're liking these videos, consider giving me a like down below, maybe a subscription, that'd be awesome. You're hearing Gunner in the background there. He would love to have one of these, but I'm afraid Sloppy Joes are a little bit too messy for a dog. So he's just gonna have to whimper over there. I'm sorry, Gunner. Let's see if what we can do here now. Another good choice. So for the savory ones, I don't think you can go wrong with either the regular or the puff pastry dough or the pie dough the apple, and this has the puff pastry dough as well. Very good. Very, very hot. Nothing like having molten apples in your mouth and then trying to give a review. But they turned out awesome. You know, another thing that you could do with these is they have those little squirty icings that you can pick up at the grocery stores and just squirt that across the top as a little extra treat on the dessert ones. So keep that in mind. These are awesome. I appreciate your joining me tonight and uh, I will set, catch y'all the next time. Bye-bye.